Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to crochet the Roman cluster stitch. I'm using Knit Pro's Mellow Crochet Hook. These are super cute. They come in this really cute pouch. The set here, it's a set of seven hooks. The sizes are, this is three millimeters and it goes up to six millimeters. I'm going to use the 5.5, um, which is the size I, size nine. This is rose gold, one of my favorite colors. Um, the wood on here, it's very smooth and comfortable to hold on to. It also comes with a tape measure, a foldable scissor. I actually have one of these that I carry in my purse, um, just in case, you know, you need to cut something. Very handy and a rose gold tape tapestry needle. I like these because you can use them for wool. It has a bigger loop so it's easier for you to get those thicker heavier weight yarns. Okay let's get started. This stitch pattern is in multiples of 10 plus 5 so I'm just going to crochet a sample. So I'm probably going to chain 35. 10 okay so that's 30 plus 5. 1, 2, 3, Okay, so now we're going to crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. Okay, so this is the first, second, third, and fourth. So right there, you're going to work a double crochet yarn over, insert your hook into the fourth chain stitch. I like to work through the, the humps, the back side of the chain stitch. You have this flat side and then if you turn it to the back, you have these bumps on the back. Okay, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. These three chain stitches count as one double crochet. Okay, that's one double crochet. Now into the next chain stitch, we're going to work another double crochet. So yarn over, into the next chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to skip three stitches. This is the start of your repeat. One, two, three. So we're going to work a three double crochet cluster and a chain three twice into this stitch here. To work your cluster, yarn over, skipping the three into that fourth chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. We're going to do that three times. Yarn over into the same chain stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over through two. Okay, one more time, yarn over into the same chain stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now you have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all four. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Okay, into the same chain stitch where we're going to work another cluster, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all four loops, chain three, and then we're going to work one more cluster into the same stitch so that you have three. Okay. That's one, two, and three. Okay, so now we have four loops. Yarn over, pull through all four. We're going to skip three. One, two, three. And then over the next three chains, we're going to work one double crochet in each of those stitches. So one, two, three, into the fourth. Work one double crochet into the next chain stitch, one double crochet, and into the third, one double crochet. So you should have three double crochet stitches over three chain stitches. Okay, so now we're going to repeat this cluster and then this set of three double crochets. So we're going to skip three again, one, two, three, into the fourth. We're going to work our cluster. So 
one. two and three so there's one cluster chain three and another cluster so you basically have three clusters into the same stitch with chain threes in between okay chain three and your last cluster into the same stitch. Okay, skip three, one, two, three, and one double crochet into each of the next three chain stitches. So that's one to the next. two and into the third one three okay go ahead and repeat across okay i'm at the end i'm going to skip three and then we'll finish off with one double crochet in each of the last three stitches so one two three one double crochet into the next crochet into the next one and then the last stitch one double crochet okay this is your foundation row and this will be the right side of your work row one chain three and turn this is so instead of chaining three you can start with a chainless double crochet so you can do that by pulling up a tall loop and then holding your finger here so that it doesn't slip off, bring your hook forward, back to the back, and to back to the front, and then to the very first stitch, insert your hook. Make sure you, you keep your finger on that loop. Yarn over, pull up the loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. This is the wrong side. This counts as one double crochet. So you're going to work one double crochet on top of each of the next two double crochets. You're going to chain three, one, two, three. And then on top of this center cluster, you're going to work one single crochet. So if you look at the cluster, this right here is part of the chain three that you worked on the side. So where you want to insert your hook is in this larger um, stitch here or longer, larger stitch here. That's the cluster. So it's to the left of the cluster. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, one single crochet. Chain three now, one, two, three and one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches and then you just repeat that across chain three one two three into the center cluster one single crochet okay the top of the cluster the center one one, two, three, one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches. Chain three, one single crochet. I'm at the end here. One, two, three so we have our two double crochets and the turning chain from our foundation you're going to work one double crochet in each of those stitches so one two three and on top of this turning chain here three 
three. Okay, row two, chain three and turn. Again, this counts as a double crochet. Work one double crochet in each of the next two double crochet stitches. Just like the foundation row, we will work three clusters with chain threes in between. And we're working that into the single crochet here. Okay, first cluster. That's one. Two. Three. Yarn over, pull through all four, and then one, two, three chains into the same stitch, another cluster. That's one, two, three. Okay, yarn over, pull through all four. One, two, three. One last cluster. Okay. Now we're going to work one double crochet in each of these double crochet stitches. So for every row yours for the double crochet stitches, you'll just work them right on top of the double crochets from the previous row. And you're just going to repeat that across. Okay, these are my double crochets. I'll work double crochets there, another cluster here, and then I'll work three double crochets here. One in each of the two, and then this is the turning chain, so into the third chain from this beginning chain three. I'm at the end. And here's the chain three from the beginning chain um, three, on this side so that was your chain three that counts as a double crochet so into the third chain one two three that's where you'll work your last double crochet on row two okay if you worked the chainless double crochet you'll see the loop on top okay so you're going to repeat rows one and two until you're happy with your size. Um, if you want to leave your edge like this, this is fine, but typically you will end with row one, which flattens, straightens the edge of this stitch pattern. Okay, so here's the sample. It's not blocked yet. So I finished off with the flat edge here, which is row one. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button. You'll be notified every time I post a video. I'll see you next time.